Okay, so this is part 51 of my community site series, and in this video we're going to finish up our request tutorial section. Yay! Um, so, yeah. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to create the choice variable, or the date variable first. So, date, dollar, or, uh, date function, and this is going to be uh, f d comma y, and that's just always the one I use for some reason. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put in an if statement. We're going to say if dollar sign like btn, then our choice um, is going to equal um, like. Um, and then we're going to have an else if, else if um, dislike button, then we're going to have a choice of dislike. Else our choice. Uh, is going to equal invalid, um, which really isn't going to do anything. Um, but if you want, you can put in some sort of check to see if it's invalid or whatever. Um, so that'll add everything to the database. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to create our database table, having one, two, three, four, five, five fields. So database. So we're going to paste that in and give it five. So we have our ID um, request underscore ID. Uh, this is our IP. And we're also not storing usernames. So if you're not logged in or not registered, you'll be able to like or dislike a post. Um, so we're still recording your IP address, though. So which is good. Um, and then we have our choice and date. Date is going to be a varchar of 50, choice is going to be a varchar of 10, IP is a varchar of 30, request ID is going to be a big int, ID is going to be a big int, and also auto increment primary key, click save, and our database has been created. Um, now, something I forgot to put a check in for is um, before we have our form. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say, or no, never mind. Um, after we get our IP address, I'm gonna say if um, dollar sign IP equals equals dollar sign user underscore IP. So if the IP address or whoops does not equal user IP, so it's a different person essentially. Um, then we want to make it so the form and everything will show and we'll add it to the database and whatnot if necessary um, but if it's if it is the username or the IP address of the person who posted this then we're gonna uh, give them a message saying you may not like or dislike your own request uh, so that takes care of that. Get rid of this extra line here. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go ahead and upload it. So if we go back and refresh our page, we now have our like and dislike button. Um, it is putting them on two separate lines, which if you want, you can fix that, and I might do it. Uh, so I'm just going to click the dislike button. And apparently nothing happened. Okay, so that's obviously a problem. Uh... Okay, so I just realized what the problem is, is instead of having these set to submit, which they should be, they're set to uh, button, which that was my bad. So after we upload and refresh, we click the dislike button. Uh, you may not like or dislike your own, uh, your own request. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and change the IP address recorded uh, for the post of this, pers of this request. Okay, so I just changed it. I'm going to go ahead and reload this page. I'm going to click the like button, uh, fatal error, oh, I spelled something wrong, um, what line was that, 55, so, gotta fix that, and actually, I just thought about something, and after we add it to the database, what we need to do is we need to, um, update 
our current, um, not our current, um, we need to update the request tut page, um, so it'll update with a like or in like uh, or dislike. So we want to say update uh, request underscore tut. Uh, we want to set uh, like. Okay, set likes equal to, um, and this I'm gonna put in double quotes in here. After we already have the single quotes, I'm gonna put in two periods. And I'm gonna say dollar sign likes uh, plus one. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so um, it'll increase the likes by one. And then we want to say where id whoops id equals dollar sign. ID. So after we have that, that will update our likes. Now the problem with that is that um, we want to be able to update likes and dislikes. So we're gonna say. Um, if um, dollar sign choice equals equals uh, like, then we're going to uh, update the likes, and we're going to say else if choice equals dislike, we're going to up like upload bleh, update the dislikes uh, dislikes okay. And we're gonna say else uh, we're just not gonna do anything, or yeah, we're just not gonna do anything. Um, so we're not gonna update anything or or, or whatnot. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna upload the page. So after we upload, if I refresh and resend, uh, syntax error on line 75. Awesome. Oh, uh, it's because this is here. Um, echo nothing. Um, upload one more and refresh resend uh, and it just says new line so if we reload this page let's click like you've already liked or disliked this request okay so obviously our total likes or dislikes not updating so I'm um, gonna go to the request to it area Okay, so I figured out what the problem is, and it's because we can't um, concatenate, it's called, um, adding in our variables like that. So what I did is I just added likes and dislikes to plus equals one, so it's just likes equals likes plus one, and same for dislikes, and then just put uh, that variable in there. So it does update now, um, but I just did it, so you can't like or dislike your own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the database and change, change my IP uh, so I can do it Okay, so I'm gonna click the like button this time and it says total likes of zero. Like. Um, and then we have this. If we reload the page, we now have total likes of one. Now, we're not showing anything after this, so let's go ahead and echo. Um, you have um, dollar sign choice. Um, you have chosen a uh, choice. Yeah, whatever. You have chosen choice. Um, so that'll just give you a little heads up of what you've chosen, I suppose. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so these are on one line. Okay, so what I did is I just put everything here into a table um, to make it appear on one line. So if we re-upload and refresh the page, it now shows it on one line. Um, you have chosen dislike. So everything there is working. Um, so if we go back here, now two dislikes, you've chosen dislike. Uh oh, that's not good. Um, so there's obviously a problem here where we can just keep choosing it as many times as we want. Um, okay, actually it was because of uh, the database. I emptied the database and set everything back and now it's working, so that was weird. Uh, dislike, you've already liked dislike this request. Okay, so that's pretty much going to conclude this. Um, so yeah, you, can, you guys can uh, now just click on the request tutorial area and uh, request 
your own tutorial, I guess, um, or whatever. Um, and I will, I will, um, when I decide to make a video, I will do uh, whichever one has the most likes currently. Um, and I'll, I'll obviously keep track of uh, which ones I've done and, uh, and things like that. So if you've got an idea, go ahead and just go post it and uh, get other people to like it and I'll get to it. So um, this is going to be the last video for the tutorial or for the community site tutorial series for a while because um, I'm getting tired of making, up, making it um, until uh, some good ideas come out. So I'm going to start working on some other tutorials like uh, some other stuff. Yeah, don't want to get into that now. But so, all right, this ends the